Hi right, guys, Logan Phillips here and I am your professor. Hopefully you've learned that by now. All right, today's video is going to be about your SimNet environment, how to get to it, how to enroll in it, and how to navigate it. So we're going to talk to you about linking between the Blackboard and the SimNet, how you follow that link, and then we're going to talk about assignments. Now remember that all of your assignments pretty much across the board, except for a very select few, are going to be inside SimNet. In addition, your gradebook is inside the SimNet environment. So you're going to be spending 90% of your time inside SimNet with your in-class stuff in, done in Blackboard. So you are using two websites in this class, SimNet and Blackboard. Now, the very first thing I want to talk to you about is the Blackboard link. Uh, this is an old course, uh, just like the other videos. Notice that student preview is on. You won't have that orange bar. On the left-hand side, there is a link that's called SimNet. If you click on that, it's going to link you directly to SimNet environment. Now it's going to take you over to this website right here. Now you can directly connect to this by using the address tulsacc.simnetonline.com. So you don't have to go into Blackboard, you can go directly to SimNet by, SimNet by following tulsacc.simnetonline.com. Now, when you're first getting started, if you have a username and password, if you've taken one of my other courses, uh, that username and password for SimNet is good for every course that I offer, and it's good for life. So any courses that we offer, if you have a SimNet code, you never have to buy again. But if you don't uh, have a login, you're going to have to register. Now, there are two ways to register for this environment. Uh, the first is you've purchased the code from the bookstore, you've purchased the code from SimNet, you've purchased the code from online, you have a code for this software. You can activate your code by putting in your courtesy code, or you can buy a license. Now this is also a way to get your temporary access. SimNet gives you a two-week temporary access code and it gives you time frame to buy it once your student loans or student uh, financial aid comes in. Now, I'm going to walk you through signing up for an access code uh, for a temp code. Do you attend community college? Yes. Do you have a SimNet username? I'm going to say no, even though I do. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to agree to their important uh, agreements. Then I'm going to choose the course that I'm going to enroll in. Now, all of my courses are named pretty straightforward. If you come down here, you'll see Phillips, the name of the course, uh, 1203 is Concepts, your section number, and then the CERN number. This is directly off of your enrollment form. So make sure you're finding me, Professor Phillips, on the site. If you go up and you enroll into Willis's class or Maxon's classes or Glenn's classes, you're going to have a problem. Make sure you're finding Phillips's classes and the correct one. If you've enrolled into Microsoft Word or Computer Concepts and then you come down here and say, well, I want to join Microsoft Word, you're going to be in the wrong class. So join the correct class with the correct CERN number. Join those up. Once you've done that, click Next. And then you're going to say, well, one of these is the courses I'm wanting. And we are the 2016 in practice O'Leary class. It's $90 if you buy it directly from uh, SimNet. It's like 100 and something if you drop, buy it from the bookstore. So I would suggest purchasing it from here. Now we are the SimNet 2016, in practice, Office O'Leary, CE 2017 Custom, Tulsa CC. Now it's this custom word that makes it interesting because if you go to Amazon and try to buy that SimNet ISBN number, you're not going to get the right code. You have to have this custom code. It's a code that was made specifically for me. You'll fill out your information. I'm going to name myself Jim Bob. Jim Bob Joe Bob. My email address is jimbob at yahoo, and my student ID, not yahoo.com, how about that? And my student ID, I'm going to make up one, 100000000. One zero 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 zero. Right, put in your actual T number when here so I can sort and double check your names because some of your names are backwards. My login information, I'm going I'm to give myself a login of jimbob and a password of, uh, well, I'm not going to tell you what my password is. Never tell someone your password and hit next. Now you can purchase directly from here or you can buy online. Now I'm not trying to get uh, buy this right now because I don't have the money uh, and I already have an account so I don't want to buy it. So you can go through here, fill out your information, purchase it and it will give you direct access to the accounts or direct access to SimNet. Now 
let me get back here to uh, stage one. Let's go. Dalsa CC SimNet Online. Notice I went back to it. Um, I'm going to say no, but I have a code or courtesy access on this one. Now, this is how you're going to get that temporary access. Yes, I attend. No, I don't have a username. We're going to come through. Yes, I agree. We're going to choose our correct class, which is going to be Phillips. Uh, let's go concepts. Hit next. And I'm going to check this box to activate a 14 day courtesy access. All right, so if you're waiting on your financial aid, you don't have the money to buy the code, you can buy the 14 day courtesy access for free and click that box and hit next. Then all you have to do is register just like a regular student and it will enroll you into that class. So you can get into this class on the first day without a code purchased inside the SimNet environment. Now I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna log into SimNet for real as my own username and I don't want you guys to know that. So hold on one second. All right, so I've gone through and I've logged into the SimNet. I've showed you how to register your code and I've showed you how to access a trial code. Now after that, you're gonna get into SimNet and this is what it's going to look like. Now this is the environment that we are going to do all of our assignments. And it's broken up into groups, assignments, pieces, different stuff. There are two ways to view your class. You can view it in list, which is how we look right now. Or if you want a more attractive one, you can view it in groups. Now I'm gonna stick with list and the class is divided into two sections, the computer concept section, which is theory, and the application system, or side, which is application. So let's go to the concepts first, because that's pretty much what we're starting off with. If you go into the concepts, you'll see uh, sim books here are what we're doing. Let's go back into the, let's go into Word. Okay. All right, so in Microsoft Word, we have a bunch of different pieces that are organized and applicable to you. Now, all of our class is divided into either lessons, sim books, exams, projects, or sim paths. And you also have a few resources that might be thrown in there as it goes across. Now, the sim paths have a pre-post test situation. The projects, you have two types of projects, guided projects and independent projects. You have an exam for every section. And the sim books are the exact same book as your physical copy. These are word for word. The only difference is I give you the ebook for free and you don't have to purchase the $100 textbook. So let's go through and look at different pieces of these for real. The first one I want to look at is the sim books. So I'm going to open up Microsoft Word uh, chapter one, and this is the sim book environment. Now notice that I can go to any assignment in the class. You are open to work on anything you want in any order. If you want to do PowerPoint first, Word first, Excel first, concepts first, mix and match as you go, you're free to do that. I would suggest following the pacing schedule that I've set. But if you don't want to follow the pacing schedule, you don't have to. Now, inside the sim book environment, there are pieces that are graded and not graded. Now, you can just click on open sim book and it's going to work you from front to or from left to right through the whole thing. Or you can scroll down and you can see chapter overview is not worth any points. Chapter 1-1 creating and survey is worth three points. And these projects down here are not worth any points. Now I'm going to open up here creating and saving axing. This is the sim book environment. There are always a show me, a guide me, and a let me try. The show me is ungraded, the guide me is ungraded, the let me try is the piece that is actually worth the three points. Now, there's another piece to the sim books down here that are called stop and, let's see where you at. Let me get to one, called pause and practice. Now these pause and practice look like they're assignments. For some teachers, they do assign these. For me, I do not. These are not graded assignments. These are for students to go above and beyond if you want to do them. Now the pause and practice, I'm gonna say that again, are not assignments in this class. They are not for points. So do not do them if, unless you want to. Yeah, I'm gonna assign side our books right here. Uh, we have all kinds of stuff here, graded and ungraded. And once you've completed it, you can see pause and practice. It was worth no points, but I opened it. I have a check mark. That check mark says I've completed it. 
If you have zero of three points and no check mark, that means it's undone. Now I'm going to go back to the front of my SimNet environment by clicking on the left SimNet word right here. And after the Sim books, we also have things like exams. Let me get back up here. I'm going to go back to home and I'm going to go to MS Word and let's look at the exams only. So the exams, you're allowed 70 minutes. It shows you how many questions you take, how many attempts you're allowed. You can see this one's allowed too. Uh, there are no preferences. You can take as long as you want. And once you've attempted it, it will show you your grade and what your score is. Now to take an exam, it's very simple. You just click on the take exam. It's gonna open up an environment. And once you start, you have to finish. You can't close it and come back. It's one exam, one chance. And it's gonna be a simulation based exam. It's gonna give you an instruction on what to do. You need to follow that instruction and accomplish it in here. So I'm gonna do one question. This is question one of 50. We're gonna check the document for spelling errors and make the following changes. We're gonna change all instances to the word of the word athletes to athletes using a single command. We're going to fix the grammar error that is found and we're going to change the word SRAF to staff and ignore the suge suggestion for Smallville. So to do this would be pretty simple. We can go through here to review. We can do a spelling and grammar. Uh, we're going to change the word athletes to athletes. So let's change that. Sorry, we're actually going to change all the uh, instances. So. Let's go find the final replace here. Let's do athletes. It's misspelled A H L E T E S. And we're going to change all of those to athletes. Even I can't spell here. Athletes. Okay. And we're going to replace all. And you can see I made the replacements. Hit OK. It's going to tell me I'm correct. Uh, you have an answer that's correct. And then it's going to move me on to the next question. So that's what the exams look like. I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to close this out, and I'm going to say Done. Save my progress. You can see down here now on my attempts, I've saved it and left. So if I submitted it, it would tell me I got one of 31 done. So let's go back out to the front. In addition to the sim books and exams, you have sim paths. Now, the sim paths are pretty straightforward. You have a pretest a lesson and a post test. You can skip the pretest and lesson and just take the post test. But I'm going to tell you, if you take the pretest, anything you pass is removed from the lesson, is removed from the post test. It will serve you better by taking the pretest. It works exactly the way as the exams, it's simulation based, but you can you can skip it and go straight to the lesson. And the lesson will teach you what it needs. It's just like the book, show me, guide me, let me try. Let me try being the lesson part that's graded or the part that you need to do. Uh, display the open page in backstage view. So there we go and open. So you can see how simple the instructions and the simulations are. Uh, everything works very simple or straightforward. Uh, so you have sim books, sim paths, exams, and projects. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go into Word and I'm going to open up the projects. Now, the projects, there are two types of projects, guided projects and independent projects. I'm going to choose a guided project. These will walk you through step by step. Now, these guided projects will walk you through step by step. The very first thing you need to do on the guided projects is come over here to the left-hand side, and you're going to find the download files. Now, best practices are optional. This will show you the best way to do the steps. The next is the instructions. Now, you can do this assignment, this particular one, on Office 2013 or 16 or Microsoft or Office for Mac. So depending on what you're using is what you'll download. If you're using a PC, you'll download the PC. If you're using a Mac, you'll download the Mac. And you'll download the start file. So once you've downloaded these start files and the instructions, you'll open it up. You'll make the changes that the instructions tell you to change. Uh, you can see here we're enable editing. We'll do the changes that it tells me to do by using the instruction file here. Let's just download it real quick and open up and I'll show you what it looks like. And so we have an instruction file. You'll go through step by step doing all the steps it tells you to to that start file. Once you're done, you'll take your start file 
and I'm going to save this onto my desktop uh, just to make this work. Let's go desktop and save. Then you will upload your file. So let's go here to file. And once you've uploaded the file, you'll submit it. And then you'll submit it for grading. This will take your file and grade it to the changes that you made. And then it's going to spit out all the things you got right or wrong. So you can see here, I made no changes to this. And so I got a zero to of all of these. So it looks like here on number three, I was supposed to change the line and paragraph spacing. If I open it up, it'll tell me exactly the steps that I missed or did not take that I was supposed to do. You have three tries on these. So if you make an error, just fix the error and download and resubmit a new file with the fixed errors. I want you to learn, and the best way to learn is through repetition. So don't be scared to take this assignment multiple times if you need to. Now I'm going to go back over here to my assignments. And I'm going to look here at show all my final exams. Now you have three final exams in this class. I know it seems odd, but they come throughout the whole section of the class. The first one is the comprehensive MS Office. This covers all the Office applications, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Access. Then you have the concepts. This covers all the theory part of the class. Remember this class is divided into two sections, theory and application. And then you have a competency assessment exam. This is dictated to be done by TCC. I have to give this to you. Now you have to take this exam. It shouldn't take you very long. Notice that it should take on average about 30 minutes. Uh, but these are your three exams. Now in addition to your pacing schedule, which you've already seen, you have a calendar up top. Now the calendar is not set for this class, but you will see, in fact, let me just choose a different one. Let's see, fall, fall, fall. Looks like I've already gotten rid of all my classes. Yeah. Uh, every assignment that's due is set on your pacing schedule and will be set on your calendar. So if you open up your calendar, you'll be able to see everything that's due. Now, once you've accomplished things, you can go to your grade book and it will tell you the exact grade you have on everything. And at the very bottom, you'll have one that says final score. That is your final score for the class if you stop working today and accomplish nothing else. Okay, let's go back home. All right, guys, that is your SimNet environment, your grade book, your assignments. Remember, you have Sim books, Sim paths, exams, projects. There is also some resources there that will help you along. Just check through them. Now, the icons are a check mark means submitted, a clock means it was due this date and you're late, and the little personal guy means it's just for you. I've sent something over. And if you have any questions about SimNet or its environment, let me know, and I'll gladly answer them and walk you through it better. All right, guys, as Jimmy Buffett says, have a very fruitful day.